So Brexit chaos would not just hurt the UK. Europe's biggest economy may even be in recession by the time Britain leaves. New numbers show industrial production in Germany fell nearly 2% in November compared to the month before. Economists were expecting it to tick up slightly. Now this, as the all-important car industry in Germany struggles with weak sales under pressure from a slowdown in China, as well as tighter rules on emissions. ZF Group is a major German producer of auto parts. CEO Wolf Henning Scheider uh, joins us now from the Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas, where he has just announced a partnership to create autonomous electric vehicles. In the midst of all the drama happening back home, where you've got industrial production coming under pressure, car sales are not looking that strong. And here you are wanting to invest billions into innovation. When you look at what's happening back in Germany, does it worry you? Do you think a recession could be on the cards? Sorry, could you repeat again? I, I could not hear. Could we talk about back home in Germany? You've got industrial production numbers, perhaps pointing to a possible technical recession. People are really worried about the health of Germany's economy, uh, Germany's economy, but at the same time, you're investing billions in innovation. What is top of mind for you right now? Well, we definitely expect the softening of the market uh, in Europe, but also in other regions uh, this year. But uh, I don't expect a major uh, downturn, just a softening. Uh, on the other hand, uh, with this technology, uh, technology change in mobility, we need to invest in future solutions. And if we don't do it now, uh, it would be too late later on. So there is no choice. It is uh, going for both ways keeping our current business as a good basis for, for revenue, even with a softening market, and invest heavily into these new technologies like autonomous driving and electromobility. I mean, you're investing, you're wanting to invest $14 billion in the next five years. That's a really big chunk of money that you want to be putting into new technologies. Do you think it's going to reap the returns versus your investment? Absolutely, because uh, the future is electromobility and the future is also autonomic driving functions. And uh, it is necessary to uh, put huge amounts of money into our hand because uh, otherwise uh, we cannot be a major player also in this sector as we have been in other sectors like the combustion engine over the last uh, 50 to 100 years. So this huge investment is uh, now the right choice. Uh, we want to be uh, a player that uh, shapes the future of mobility and that's why I invest uh, this uh, huge amount of money. I mean, it's interesting you're looking at robo-taxi, ride-hailing applications as well. I know you're in the chassis business, of course you're in parts. Tell me about what your business is going to look like in five years' time after you invest so heavily uh, within all these technologies. Well, we still have, uh, will have a lot of the existing to technologies as a earning base. And this is why we don't invest only in the new technologies, but also, for example, in uh, hybrid uh, transmissions yeah, that electrifies the vehicle, but even has uh, the combustion engine on board, uh, because it's a great solution for the next 10 to 20, maybe 30 years, if a family has just one car. Yeah, uh, so it's a combination of both technologies, the new one and uh, the one of the last 100 years. So uh, it's both. And um, this is why we, we are really on these two legs. Uh, so in five years, we will have some robotaxis on the road. I will see them first in uh, areas like airports or, uh, uh, you know, restricted areas, geofenced areas. But in five to seven years, we might see them in cities at a larger scale. Sounds exciting. Thank you very much, sir, for your time. Much appreciated.